Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I would like to show you how you can squeeze the mockups library. In this video, we will jump to the Blender and I will show you how to use certain functions. Don't worry, you don't need to know the whole Blender, you just need to know uh, the basics. Thanks to these basics, you can customize the final renders, the final images to meet your needs, uh, to meet your brand guidelines, etc, etc. Thanks to that, you can create better first impressions. And thanks to first impression, you can attract more clients, you can attract better clients, you can earn more money. So the purpose of this library is to bring you better way how you can present your work, your design, uh, your, your products, your mockups, your anything. So this is just about the basics, but if you want to squeeze it even more, go ahead and use it as you wish. So let's go to the Blender. If you just downloaded the Blender, go to our Frequently Asked Questions. It's on our YouTube channel and you can just go there, see the list of the videos and you can start. It's starting from the scratch. So if you just download it, open it, this is for you. So how to navigate in Blender, how to change your things, etc, etc. So then let's jump into the mockups tutorial. First thing what is important to understand is which mockup you want to use for your type of design. Because there are different flavors, different uh, types of scenes and maybe some of them are working better with some type of project. So let's check that. You will see that which one is working for this one. For example, probably this one is nicely working with the dark UI. Uh, this one is using also can work nicely with dark UI if you do some changes. So this is how you can you can play with it. Okay, so I just opened Blender file. I picked first city mockup. Here, what you can see that on the top, I can change the, the viewport shading. And like the last one is like showing you how the render feed look like. And I'm using also the camera, the photographer uh, plugin, which is, which is free and you can donate uh, to the founder. So if I use the sh show focus plane, it's basically if I want to Autofocus, I can autofocus on the on the things and it will blur the background, which is kind of cool effect and you can play with that pretty nicely. And also you can play with the, with the plugin and you can like do many, many stuff, like the same things that you can do with your camera. Let's take a look like, okay, I don't like the colors. Like I want to change the colors. So the first thing which is important is like to change the color. For example, I see the app watch screen, uh, app watch, sorry. I can just simply change it and it's green. Voila, that's easy. Okay, so I will go back to the black one. And if you want to change the screen, this is how you can use it. Let's go to the mobile. I will try it here. And I will change it to dark, right? So this is it. With zero, I will go to the camera view. Important thing how I'm, I'm navigating in Blender is like, I'm using the wheel. This is how you can change the things, how you can change the, the screen, etc. And now what I think is interesting, play with this scene, like to go a little bit further. What you can do, because we have like 10 scenes, and if you like something from other scene, you can just append it. You can just copy it and use it in the, in the Blender. Extremely easy to do. So I like, for example, I don't know, I like this stone or whatever it is, like the diamond or or just this object, I will just copy, control C and paste, control B. That's it. And I have it here. And now I'm just moving it with, with G and uh, with the G I'm moving it. And if I want to use like G, G, Y, G, X, G, Z, and I'm moving in into some direction in some axis. So G plus X, Y, Z. So then with S scale, I can, I, can, uh, I can scale it down or up, like make it bigger. So this is how easy it is. I can be, uh, like I can play with that. Uh, if, I like, if I like something else, for example, this thing, I can just pick it again. I just copy pasted it here where it is. I need to zoom out a little and right. So this is how I can, I can easily manipulate if you like uh, i don't know you can just put it here or put it like <laughs> like here if you don't like for example some part 
you can just turn it off. If you turn it off here, uh, you want it in the in the viewport. You will see it in the viewport. If you turn this on, you will see it on the render. So render is like creating the image, the final image. If you want to change the material, and you like, for example, this material, you just need to like click on it, find the name of that. Uh, it's fast code. Just go here. Here is the list of the of the materials. Find it on the on the bottom of the of the drop down, and now I see fast gold. I can change it. The cool thing is, if you have multiple libraries, you can go and append something. I can append material. So this is how I can use it. So go to, for example, luxury scene. Uh, go to material. You can append, for example, camera, you know, like lights, like anything what you want to, world, etc. Actions. Uh, this is interesting because you can append also the animations. And for example, I like the ceramic dots. This is how I can find them. Voila. So this is it. This is pretty powerful because you can combine and by easily you can just create pretty cool stuff, right? So, for example, if you, I don't know, append more of these, right? So I can just rotate, etc. So I can go to render, render image, shortcut is F12. Okay, so this is like how it looks like after some changes. So if you can take, if we we'll take a look on the, um, on the initial one, so this was the initial one, and this is this is changed, right? So obviously it's a little bit different scene, and this is how easy you can pretty much combine and to create anything you want to. You just need to understand that you can change the colors, materials, you can append things. This is extremely powerful thing, and voila, that's it. You can even play with the with the camera. Let's say I don't like the camera like here. I need to I need to click on the on the camera it's active and now again like with the G I'm moving it right so this is how I can use it again if I want to go outside from the camera view I need to click on the zero so the zero is the shortcut then I can like play with the camera you can change like the types of the lenses and to play a little bit more with this so like see this is this with this plugin you can go pretty crazy how you can look like and you can you can just play and have fun because remember we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents i i have the animals here for example i can append also characters it just i need to go to object mode select all and and right so i append it as you can see uh because i'm using the also the different poses so I just need to find the pose I like to make it a little bit smaller okay because like the scaling was a little bit slower so I changed the viewport shading and now it's it's much much better and it doesn't have to calculate all the all the things so uh, I just make it a little bit smaller right so with the S scale So now I need to play a little bit with the aperture uh, because it's a little bit blurry. So if I put like a little bit higher, then you can see that it's it's focused. Also the panda is focused. So I left the I left the some things here. I left the star. So uh, I just need to like to. And again, so this is how it will look like. Let's render it. Okay, so now we can see the render and we can see that we use the, the character. The one thing what uh, like uh, I didn't did well is that it's coming through the, the mobile. So you would need to play a little bit more just to put it in the right spot. But the point is that you don't need to learn all the blender. You just need to know that how to change the colors, how to change the materials, how to move the tools, how to navigate how to maybe change the lights. So let's take a look on the lights. It's super simple. I just need to click in the object mode. I need to be in the object mode and I can play with the colors. 
for example. So now, as you can see, it's getting this shade. Again, easy, you can combine, you can play, you can move, you can change, right? So it can be, it can be a little bit different. You can create a nice scene. So if you change, for example, like just the, just the background. So now it's, it's more like the nice scene. So this is what you need to know. Don't be scared of all of this. Uh, just use these simple functions and you can go pretty far away with all of this. You don't have to be 3D modeler. We created all of this. Just use what is there. You can use the characters and we created different uh, objects. Just go combine and, and that's it. This is how easy it is to, to squeeze all of our libraries. It's like design system. We created a design system and you can just use uh, this 3D design system and to play, to create scenes, attract more people to earn more money and etc. Because once you buy the library, you can use it many times for different clients, for example, or for different projects or for your branding and, and, and so on. It's a huge value which can it, it can bring to you. The last thing what I wanted to mention is uh, if you need some inspiration how to use 3D models in different ways, how to use our 3D models, like definitely check our Dribble page because we are constantly adding different types, different things and different inspiration for you. So for example, here are the UIs, here is some, uh, here is some simple kind of animation, here is also like the UI with the 3D animation, like this one, for example, or we are using uh, different types of rendering, like changing the background and, and that's it. So like simple animations like this, it can be used, for example, for chat or for anything. Also, as I showed you, uh, like the mockups, you can create something like this. It can be pretty powerful how you can differently ch change how you can use uh, different things. So go there, like we are dribble.com uh, slash 3D and you will find everything what is here, right? So it's many, many, many different things. So if you have any question, please reach out to me at Samuel at 3D.design. If you want to learn more about mockups library, go to mockups.design. And if you want to learn more about our 3D libraries, go to 3D.design. And remember, it's a fantastic day. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> Come to think of it, every day is a good day to be alive.